Hi guys, welcome in to another edition of The Complete Angler. My name's Joe Long, special guest. Oh, we're doing that. I usually say it, J.C. Brooks. That's who you are? Yeah. Okay. Bluegill Assassin. Bluegill Assassin. All right, guys. Bass Assassin. Bass Assassin. All right, today we got a special show. We're going to talk about uh, spinnerbaits and buzzbaits. All right, so... We got a wide variety, you can see here, of just about anything you can want. So we're going to ask a couple questions here. JC. Yeah, I'm completely clueless on these. You see this blade? Yep. Kind of looks like a football shape. Yeah. You know what it's called? The spinny thing? The spinny thing. Do you know what this blade is called? No, I don't what know. kind of blade it is? A fishy spinny blade? A fishy spinny blade. Yeah. Now that's called a willow leaf. Yeah, I, I would have never guessed that. Willow leaf. Here's a big willow leaf. With a bad skirt. We're going to have to get some new skirts. Some of ours over the winter decided to retire permanently. So that's a big willow blade. Okay, so that's a willow blade. What in the world is that? See that? An oak blade. An oak blade. Am I actually right? No. Oh. Not even close. I have. I, well, that one was like willow, like willow tree, so I just... Yeah. That's like a willow leaf. But this is a Colorado blade. Jesus. How many guesses would it take for you to get that? <laughs> well, this let's just say this video would be probably a couple days long. And the other kind of blade... Spinner. Propeller. Golden, no, silver. <laughs> God, it's horrible. I've done screwed up this video and we haven't even been on here for two minutes. It's a buzz bait. But you were, I thought you were asking about that. Yeah. It's a buzz bait. Yeah, of course. Buzz bait, buzz bait, buzz bait. Double. Double buzz bait. Got one. One for six. One for six is not bad. All right. So, we have so many different things here. We've got double blades. We've got single blades. We've got... Everything known to mankind. So when do you use a spinnerbait? Where do you use a spinnerbait? How do you use? Well, I kind of know you use a spinnerbait. Where's a spinnerbait? What's a spinnerbait? Well, <laughs> technically everything that's not a buzzbait out there is a spinnerbait. And kind of, in my mind, a buzzbait is a kind of... So, thing. we'll just pick this one, right? Is that good enough? No, that, that's kind of a manufactured thing by me. I'd pick any one but that one, basically. Of course. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. There you go. That's a big one. So, what you do is somehow this is hooked on to your reel and line and stuff like that, right? So, I got that part right. Yeah, cast it out. Thank God that didn't slip out of my hands or we'd have to redo the show. Um, <laughs> probably have to get a new phone because the hook would be through this it. This is a bloopers edition. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, then you just kind of reel it and this starts spinning, right? Yes, basically. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, I'm on a roll. Two for seven. Okay, so you're going after largemouth bass. You want something that's a big uh, bait. One of my favorites, I just saw right here. Now this one here is missing the skirt. I'm going to have to get some new skirts. When you get your new skirts and you put your skirts on these, tie wire around it. Because that little plastic rubbery thing will only lasts about a year and then it goes and you got skirt everywhere. Uh, this one's got a little grub on it, and you see here I got a stinger hook on it. Mm -hmm. All right, this is one of my favorites of all time. Um, it's probably 10, maybe 15 years old. 
I like to fish this next to cover. Uh, mostly in the summer. I've, this is when I've had the most success. So let's say we're on a lake. Basically, we're in a bass tournament. And we need to catch a bigger fish. Okay? We're going around docks. Alright? Other boats tied up on the shore. Mm -hmm. And we're going to run that thing right down through. Anywhere where there's cover, we're going to make sure we get on that. Um, spinner baits, there's just a, a wide variety of colors. I really like um, the chartreuse, chartreuse and green, the black and blues. Um, and then I do put a lot of creatures and, and I've even put tubes, uh, you know, just a little bit different um, way to do things. I do have one that's extremely old, and I forget what the name of this one was. This is my grandfather's, and if, I don't know if I can show you guys that well. This thing has got to be 40 years old, probably. That's an ancient lure right there. It probably shouldn't be used. It should probably be put in a collection somewhere. But spinnerbaits are great. All year round, any time, summer, spring, post-spawn, pre-spawn, I've had success with them. Um, there's really no way to go wrong. Now, what you want to do is you want to try to match your collars. Um, early in the season, your bluegills are going to be real white, right? They've been under the ice shelf. So... A white bait, very, that's a good one there. Short, a little bit of a chartreuse and white is going to be good. Um, after dark, they really like black and blue. I don't really know why. You would think they'd want a bright white thing, but they really like the black and blue. Um, I think this was even called a... Uh, midnight edition, like a Lake, Lake Fork Midnight Edition or something like that. Um, but there's literally everything. We got small crappie type cranks, but uh, basically there's there's no wrong time to throw um, a spinnerbait. Um, I really like to throw buzz baits toward the end of the day, you know, like real late. You know, toward nightfall, uh, it's going to prop and it's going to create a mass disturbance on the top. Um, this one here is outfitted with a boot tail. Um, this one's just the basic deal. And there's a little tip of a worm there on the back of that little jelly worm. That's a double prop. That thing will really get up and cause a mass disturbance. So guys, if you got any questions, please put them down and, and we will get back to you. Uh, any questions from you, sir? No, I think I've done screwed this video up enough today. All right, so. Wait, wait. I got it this time. You ready? Like and subscribe. Okay, I've done my part. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your time. And uh, if there's anything you you want to ask, just let us know in the uh, comments. Thanks, guys.